You know, as you look into the genetics of complex neuropsychiatric disease, if you'd asked me three or four years ago, I would have said it looks almost intractable. We, I don't see how this is going to lead us to new pathways that would help us make new, new drugs. Today, it's a totally different scenario. I think it's, it's pretty evident today that we're on the cusp of a real genetics revolution across all disease areas, and certainly neurologic and psychiatric diseases are going to be a part of that. That, I think, is just ev evident by every people's interest in having ge their genome sequenced, their genetic risk factors identified, and that will enter in force within neurological and psychiatric diseases. It's routine in many diseases now to have um, all kinds of different functional neuroimaging assessments done. Much more reliable quantitative focused neuro neurofunctional domain assessments. The FDA is approving more and more interesting external devices that monitor neural activity that is likely to become part and parcel to different kinds of diagnosis. So it's just going to be a different era from having a questionnaire where you get a diagnosis or a treatment response based on whether you meet six of eight criteria in three different categories in a very subjective way.